Hey guys, I'm Robinson. In my today's video, I'm going to talk about how to create an email address anonymously without using your personal email address and your cell phone number. So search on Google Endesk and simply click on Endesk Mail. Create an account. So it will go to the sign up page. So you have to fill out these details. Write down your first name, surname, and your username and a strong password. That's all. So here I am using my own data. So this is the third. Here is the option. You can write down your mobile phone number, but if you wish, you could change that. You can click on "I don't have phone telephone number." That's all. So here you have to choose a secret question. So I am choosing uh, the brand of your first call. Okay, and you have to write down the capture code. YG sorry Y9 R9 sorry G except the policy okay there's a little mistake K U S T 2 Q 3 Wait for a few moment. I hope it will begin. So here we are. At last, I able to create my own account. It will not take more than one minute, but it takes more longer. But don't click on light version. So if you do, like you won't able to see some features. So you don't need to do that. Just keep waiting, and it will open. Just refresh the page. Okay, here we are. So I able to create my own account. You can save the username and password with your Google user account. So in the next time when you will sign out, you don't need to sign in again. So it will fill out the data automatically. That's better. Let's save it. It will sync all the data. So here's another thing. You can turn on notifications button. So it will help you to get the email earlier when it will come and it will pop up so that's better i think so and you need to allow the security question so this can simply allow so here you are this is my email there's all categories email and conversation and all other information so this is our personal information simply go to the account settings So here we are. This is my profile. Okay, here you'll find many information like password and authorization. So there's two options. Like you can 
simply set the password also you can enable app password which will help you to identify uh, like authorizing the data with Google authorization uh, there is two things like set up two factor authentication also you can set it but uh, one option like average level of protection just secure this account so simply click it on for for the security like here is asking like you have set your password and there is another thing phone number for further verification to, to keep secure your own account so you need to if you want yes you need to set a phone number so how can you get a phone number anonymously so let's begin there's a service provider which is called sms receipt free so you can open an account by using your own email account like you have created few moments ago mailing desk that's better it will help you to keep secure everything Just sign up and it will <sighs> supposed to be calm sorry guys for different reason I could not able to uh, uh, unable to authorize the email account not only the index also the gmail account but uh, I just refresh my browser and uh, log sign up through my uh, gmail account and the gmail account so once you will sign up it will send you a link in your email account so in the given account you will just verify that link and I mean your account and then you will see a page like this so here you have to choose a country like Canada or United States which country do you want to, to get a phone number so I'm using United States so these are the phone numbers are available right now so you can choose any one of them so I am choosing Indiana so just copy the phone number and just paste it secret this account here just put it and send the code I hope you'll get the code just refresh the browser so here here this is the code just paste it and confirm pretty simple and continue so now your account is secure also if you wish you can add a backup email address also what can you do like you can open another uh, index account and you can just write it down so it will just keep secure so you are, you don't need to use your own personal and email address and uh, any phone number it's pretty simple if you wish also you can uh, just fill out the details if you want but I think that's enough so just go to the mail mailbox and here you can see there's lots of did you see I just added I just linked a phone number this is the email I have received you can just delete it if you wish that's all it's pretty simple also you can log in just using this domain okay keep subscribe and see you in the next episode bye bye